get ready, get ready, get ready. It's the first Wednesday of the month of June, and June is just a very, very special month. There's so much going on. We cannot wait to share with you about it, and I'm here in the studio today with my co-host on the first Wednesday of the month, and that's Mr. Derek Blue. What's up? How's everybody doing? Welcome. Thank you for having me again, Dr. Crusoe. Oh, he's speaking that into existence, y'all yes. already know. Yes. And he is here. He's going to give us a blueprint today, but it's going to be more of a black print. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> the black print. I, hashtag I'm in black this print. Hashtag black print. I am actually in like the that. studio this morning with one, two, three phenomenal African-American males. And, and I'm going to start the show off by bringing awareness to what's happening in the month of June. I could say I'm excited because it's my birth month. Yeah, that 5508 through my birthday weekend. Right. But the day that's most important to us that we recognize these men today. So to Derek Blue, to Lavarno Williams. To DJ CEO Daryl Johnson, happy early Father's Day. Thank, thank you. you. That's thank what you. day it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, we're going to get down to business. In our studio today, my co-host, Mr. Derek Blue. Yes, yes. He comes in the first of the month and talks to us about the blueprint, which today we're going to be talking about the black print. He brought with him the president. Can I introduce him, Dr. Crusoe? Of course, of course you can. I want to I want to introduce He has a special introduction. I want to so introduce I'm gonna turn, turn this over to you. I, I want to uh Set it up. present to some. That's the Baptist preacher that's, coming that's out the, of here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce to some and present to others none other than the board chair of the Thap Group Companies. He is uh, a visionary. He is a, a man that uh, honors legacy, but still reaches forward into the future. He is a young man who uh, saw something in me uh, that he thought was worth Placing in a leadership position. He uh, is a master salesman. Amen to that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he is uh, uh, a, a he, he, I call him, I, I call him Dr. Williams. People that I have a lot of respect for, I call them doctors because I feel like they're doctors in their own right. Uh, they know how to operate. They know how to, how to make things happen. And every good doctor knows how to operate. So I want to present to some introduce to others none other than the board chair for the Thap Group Companies, none other than Dr. Livorno Williams. Thank you, thank you, thank you, there, Mr. Blue. And that is definitely an honor and a big introduction that is very hard to follow. Thank you, Mrs. Crusoe, and thank you for inviting me on the show. Again, my name is Lavorno Williams. I am the board chair. I've been sitting on the board for seven years. Congratulations! And there are wow. so much Solid excitement marriage. going on here at five five oh eight. I am yes, so full. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. Yes. So, like Mrs. Crusoe said, let's get started with Black Week. Oh, oh, all right. You heard it first. You heard that phenomenal introduction that only Mr. Blue could have delivered. That's right. <laughs> A great man is doing some great things with your board in East Tampa. One of the things we're here to talk about today is just that. You all have been hearing the hype. They, they're kind of like a radio traveling group. Yeah. These brothers have thank been you, traveling you. around to different radio stations, sharing with you what's getting ready to happen at 5508, an explosion of black history. 
Absolutely. Black legacy. Yes. And it's a story that must be told. Absolutely. Again and again and again. Yes. And so you want to tell the people why you decided to partner with the organization to be able to bring it right here to East Tampa to our community? Yes. Because you termed it the Black Wall Street experience. Right. Meaning it's something that you've got to participate in. You've got to be here. Be you present. Be present. You've yes. got to bring your purse. That's right. Bring your purse. And be ready to wallet. celebrate. Absolutely. Freedom. Absolutely. And it is, first of all, to uh, shout out uh, publicly once again to the legacy of Mr. James Hammond. Yes. Uh, may he rest in peace. He uh, uh, was our founder. Uh, we honored him while he was living. Amen. And then we also, you know, honored him uh, in his transition. Uh, his legacy will never die within this organization. It's in the DNA. It's in the threads. It's in the concrete. Yeah. It's in the blocks. And it's, it's in, in us. Uh, it's everywhere. It's in the walls. His blueprint. his influence. His it's in the blueprint. His influence is uh, completely embedded not only uh, in the board of directors' uh, hearts and minds, but also in mine, in the collaborators, in everybody that's under the sound of my voice. But uh, we're excited uh, to introduce, uh, thanks to our sponsors, uh, Wells Fargo. Uh, thank you, shout Wells out, Fargo. thank you, Wells thank Fargo, you, Wells Fargo, <laughs> for the support. Uh, we also have the support of uh, DSI Black Pages in the house. In the house, Dr. Cusso's uh, company. Uh, we're partnering with them. We're also partnering with the Black Heritage Festival. Yes. Uh, we're partnering with All City Solutions. We're partnering with UGE uh, Gospel Expressions. Uh, we're partnering with In Touch Radio. We're partnering so, with uh, WTMP. L everybody. Listen, let me tell you, we <laughs> partner with everybody <laughs> because we found out that we can do much more together. But our That's primary right. sponsor yes. is Wells Fargo. And, uh, you know, I'm excited, Dr. Williams, uh, to, to kind of talk about uh, this event a little bit. He's ready. He's yes. ready. Again, thank you for the opportunity to come and speak to the community. And as for Mr. James Hammond, He's actually the gentleman that came to me and asked me to be part of the board. And it has been a complete difference in my life. And yes, I saw, I seen a lot in um, Mr. Blue and I decided to allow him to <laughs> lead this organization. It has been one of the best decisions that I ever made. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to this black history and black Wall Street, Actually, it was something that really caught me by surprise. And I was listening to a radio station, and Roland Martin said that during the 9-11 attack, that the worst attack was on, on May 30th in 1921 in a black community. I, wow. And that actually, I'm thinking, what is he talking about? So I immediately started ex um, researching it. And that is when I found out about mm. Black Wall Street. And the thing that disturbed me the most community and listeners, why wasn't this taught in school? Why did we know about this influential community, wow. this district? So once I, I once we I found out about it, we must share it. Absolutely. Wow. He said that with conviction. Absolutely. And, and, and if you think about where we are, that happened at the end of May, going into the 1st of June, 1921. Blue, you want to uh, give the history or you want me to give them a little bit of the, of the history? I, I want to piggyback a little bit off of uh, what Dr. Williams said, Lavorno said, and then I want you to give a little bit of the history. Okay, well we'll 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 do that. What I wanted to set the stage for was, and 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 um, Dr. Williams brought this up, the time. Yes. Yes. Now we all are, are crafting this whole Black Wall Street experience around Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. And so for us to talk about Juneteenth, that's something that is personal to our culture of people. When we're coming together on Father's Day weekend, 
It was something that started in the end of May into June. 18 hours burning down a community called Greenwood in a city called Tulsa in a state called Oklahoma. Yes. Mm. That's real. Yeah, it is. Yes. And and so we come here today to tell the story, but you'll hear a little more about it. But I wanted you to see where we are today. Today is June 5th. So if you think back to when that happened, 1st of June, another thing happened in June that gets a lot of play. And you brought this up. No play about the massacre that took place in 1921 on May, the end of May 1st to, to June 1st. But if you're listening to the news, you're here about D-Day, mm-hmm. which took place on the 6th of June. But we're here, and you'll hear that all over the news, locally, domestically. You'll hear it internationally. But what we're trying to tell you is what happened in our culture in 1921. Absolutely. Go ahead, Dr. Blue. So you you have a thriving community. Uh, Dr. Williams mentioned that we've, we've done a lot of research, but you have a thriving community that wasn't just a strip of stores. Mm-mm. It was 36 acres that uh, was owned by black folks. Say it. It was banks. Banks. It was grocery stores. There was uh, agriculture. There was acres of agriculture. It was a self-sustaining community. And on top of all of that, it was sitting on top of a gold mine. And the, and, and, and a part of the, 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 the tragedy of it all is because other folks knew that it was sitting on top of a gold mine. It was a self-sustaining community. We know that the black dollar, I think Dr. Cuso mentioned this on the last radio interview when she called in, the black dollar stays in the community for less than eight hours. Exactly. exactly. We spend our money everywhere else, whereas in other communities, it stays in there for weeks and weeks and maybe even months. It just stays in the community. And 